Um, I'll say the plot of the film is um, a Romeo and Juliet style romance between two really good friends. Um, they both live in separate area codes that are in a massive gang war. Um, starts off not really meaning much to a group of kids, but you know, as they get older, influences from outside their friendship really puts a strain on it. And the two friends end up becoming, mm, they end up becoming enemies. And um, it's just, you know, how deep does this rivalry go? And um, yeah, so I'll say it's a, it's, a, it's a plot based on two friends, based on love. I think we haven't had one, we haven't had a film like this for such a long time in the UK. Like we've probably got, the amount we've had, we could probably count on um, one hand, you know, uh, you know, maybe a bit more. Um, and I think it was just the right timing, you know, at the time, a lot of people was interested in what I was going to do next because, um, you know, I just, had, so I just had a little YouTube success and they wanted to see what I was going to do next. And the fact, so I think when they watched it and they realised, wow, it was a deep story, it really connected. Plus, because it, it was so personal, like I didn't really make this film to glamorise anything because I just showed what my childhood was like growing up. So um, I think a lot of people connected with the authenticity. Well, um, apparently there was a fight um, with a group of teenagers who got into a brawl with another group of teenagers and one of the groups pulled out a machete, some sort of knife or weapon of some sort. And the cinema owner, um, he just automatically figured they must be there to watch Blue Story. Um, it wasn't in the cinema screen, it was actually in the, in the lobby. Um, so they just, he just decided, you know, let's pull the film from every single one of our, all of our chains, you know, which was crazy, you know, um, considering that it wasn't in a Blue Story screening. There was no evidence it was for Blue Story. It could have been over anything. And, um, yeah, they pulled the movie. But they, because it was so unjustified, there was such an outrage there that um, they, after a week or so, they had to pull it back on, you know. Um, well, I grew up um, listening to hip hop, you know, old school, Biggie, Nas, Jay Z, Tupac, the real storytellers, you know. Um, back then, where on the, all the albums, there's always a, a good storytelling song, and those were always my favorites. And uh, I used to, always used to remember they never really did do the visuals to the storytelling song, they always would do it for the club songs, the tunes I could play on the radio. So I always used to wonder, man, why, you know, why don't they do the visuals? I used to wonder what the visuals be if I was to make it and how I pictured it. So when I started rapping, I just done similar thing to what they done, but I decided to make film like visuals with them. So all my visuals were like short films. So I started doing like news videos that were kind of like short films all together in one. And it really started to pick up, you know, it started they started getting popular in the UK. Um and then it really hit home when I done something called Shadows which then led me on to do my feature film, you know? So it was literally just me wanting to make visual images for my songs. <laughs>